Hi, I'm Jansen. And I'm Noelle. And we're with Children and Youth Goals. And we're here today to talk about setting family goals. How to set family goals and where to begin. So um, we've had a lot of fun setting individual goals over the years. We've learned a lot of things, seen a lot of different places, some examples that we've um, done. Things that we've, for example, family goal, things we've done that we've wanted to do or experience together, like skydiving. Oh, yeah. Um, Not a family goal because we yeah. didn't take our well, four-year-olds we didn't, from that. We didn't have kids back then, so no. it was a family goal. It was just the two of us. Yeah. Um, but individual goals too. We've set we've set a lot of goals, whether it's playing harmonica, dunk, trying to dunk a basketball, solving a Rubik's cube. Yeah, lots of different goals. But today we want to talk about family goals and involving your kids in the process of setting goals and looking forward to what you can do together. So um, diving right in, as we have, um, as our kids have grown, we've tried to include them more and more. A lot of times we find ourselves saying, um, "Hey kids, get in the car. We're going here. Hey kids, we're going to do this. Hey kids, we're we're planning this," and they're just kind of like toting around, like following us wherever we go, right? The majority of the time, that's how it happens. But there's some power that hap that comes and some great excitement that comes to our home as we ask the kids, hey, what are your interests? What would you like to do? What can we do as a family? And let's make a plan for it. So we're going to share with you guys to begin just some of our own family goals that we have set for ourselves. And um, we've tried to keep it fairly well balanced in the four areas of growth with spiritual Physical, social. social, intellectual. I did that a little backwards. Yeah, they but you yeah, get kind it. of a little star, you know, whatever. Yeah. Is there really an order? I don't know. So and within the four areas um, of growth and some of those, let's just dive in and tell you some, what some of our goals have been for our family. Okay, so we'll start with spiritual goals. All right. um, that's kind of the, the starting point. Um, for us, a spiritual goal that, that we've set this year is to um, do Come Follow Me every week. Um, to kind of stay on on top of that the best that we can. And that is not perfect for us. I've got to tell you, um, for us, sometimes sometimes it's sitting down around the kitchen table, but that doesn't happen very often. Sometimes it's in the car driving from one place to the next. <laughs> Getting our kids uh, to But we an take event the time to... Get on the, get on the phone. You know, it's nice that we have the Gospel Library app and we'll just get on Come Follow Me and maybe share scripture, ask their thoughts, and just make, do what you can. You do the best you can, right? Yeah. Um, another one is to um, do family prayer and the scriptures, and that's not like a chapter or anything. It's and like that's similar to how we do come following. Two, I think we're doing about two verses a, a person right now, so yeah. which makes it really good for the kids. Yeah, it's doable. Young, young kids, wiggly, and all over the place. It makes it fairly quick. Mm -hmm. um, other spiritual goals. Journal. So this year we set a goal to write in our journal every day. He. I'm horrible. I horrible. I think I'm still in the same journal <laughs> that he was in when I was born that my mom started. That's but that right. doesn't count my mission journal. I did like I made oh. it probably three fourths of the way through that one. Hmm, I wonder how many times I mentioned. <laughs> 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 she probably has a journal for every page that I've written in a journal. <laughs> I really do. I have a lot of journals. Uh, but I I've stacks. always I've always wanted to write in a journal and I'm not really good at it and I still don't want to take all the time to write in one. So. And our kids aren't great. Our kids aren't great at journal writing. So this year we came up with a new plan. Um Okay, I should say I did because he had not, he really didn't. Yeah, it was it was her. Um, but I just found on Amazon, and we are not affiliates. We don't. We're but we had talked, and I had said, you know, I really want to write more in our journal, and, yeah. and she does a good job of writing in go. hers and in all the kids because I. So try, I found. Try to do that sometimes. I found this book on Amazon. Ooh, I don't know if that's backwards or not because we're doing it selfie. It's called One Question a Day for Kids. We like it for us too. Um, and what it is, is it's just like, what's your favorite breakfast? What's your favorite season? Um, if you had to move, where would you want to go? And it's just a little question. So one question a day. One question a day. And it's actually a three-year journal. So on a page, you've got three different years. So every year you'll come back and answer the same question again. Yeah, it's, it's been fun. What I like about it is it helps you kind of create a habit of yes. writing in a journal, but it's mm -hmm. super quick. Like just answer a question and be done with it. And if you miss a day or a week okay. or whatever, it's easy to go back and try and fill that in. Yeah, um, our kids have loved it. Like yeah. um, they've really enjoyed it. Our eight year old has just taken the time. We don't care about spelling, like I said before, but um, he'll just write in and, and my, our daughter, she's 12 now and she's like, oh, this is so fun. I want to take it to school to make sure I fill it. I'm like, it's only one question. So she's like, but it's fun. <laughs> I'm like, okay. All right, whatever you want to do. But it's been fun to be able to form that healthy habit 
and doing it together as a family and to see everybody like pulling out this little journal of one question a day and and some of them it just takes one word and some takes a sentence so yeah. so those spiritual goals. those are our spiritual goals those are good examples yeah um intellectual goals or social let's do social because usually it goes spiritual and then spiritual social. social yep intellectual so, some some of the examples of social goals that we have set as a family this so year one of them i'll start with we lived in minnesota for a little bit and oh. while we were in minnesota we learned an awesome thing that the families there love to do big shout out to our friends in minnesota Yay, you guys are awesome <laughs> um they invited us in to dinner uh, at their home on all sundays the all the time and we went to several people's homes and we loved it and we got here and we're like we i don't think we've ever hardly done that our entire time that we've lived in utah maybe twice twice a few times you you know, friends, you'll get together yeah. a few times, but really to like have somebody over intentionally to say, yeah. hey, we want to get to know you. It's because there's a lot of family here. Yeah. And know? so our goal is to invite a new family over um, every month yeah. and have so them over for dinner. just get to know them, get to know our neighbors and, and try to just get outside of ourselves. So, yeah. Yeah. So, so. that's one of our goals um, as a family, socially. Um, another one is that Lacey set up a YouTube channel for her piano. She likes to play the piano. And she wanted, like, grandma and grandpa and cousins and everybody to be able to see her playing her songs as she learned them. So she wanted to create this YouTube channel. And so that really is a family effort because it takes time. When she's recording, the kids have to be quiet. The little ones have to be quiet. Um, we kind of have to help her get it situated and explain how things work. So that was that's a family um, social goal because it's, yeah, it's, it's social a family effort to, to make sure that it other. happens. Um, what's another one? Um, to look at our notes. Go on a trip with another family. Mm -hmm. uh, we wanted to uh, spend time with somebody else doing something, whether it's one night, two nights, or whatever it is. Yeah. Um, just to go do something fun. Yeah. And then the other, another one of our social goals um, was to create this, create these videos for you guys, create a newsletter or website um, to try and help you. And this was very much a family goal because it takes time out of our lives and our kids have to be a little understanding so that when our little four-year-old twins are running around and we have to ask our two older kids to say, hey, can you go watch the four-year-old so we can, you know, finish doing this video. Shh, be quiet, stay up there. <laughs> you know, that's that's how we have to do it. So, but it takes a family to do it. Yeah. So those, I think that's cool. some yeah good examples for our social goals. Intellectual goals. Uh, intellectual family goals. Mm -hmm. um, one of those is to take a trip across the U.S. or part of the U.S., whatever, and excited, church right? history sites yeah. and learn a little bit about, uh, yeah, kind of our ancestors and yeah. pioneers. We're excited about that one. Yeah. going to be a History of the country. Um, another one that we've done is we kind of take turns reading a book with our older kids. So, um, and it usually takes us a month or two to get through a big book with our older kids. Um, but they have really looked forward to it. They really enjoy it. And we're like, okay, only if you're in bed. By this time, will we like read a chapter of this book with you? And they're like hurrying to get in bed. So it's been fun as we've set these family goals that it has actually been an incentive or a reward for our kids at the same time. So it's kind of a double win because we're you know, achieving these family goals and they want to work for it. So yeah. it's been good. And yeah. then uh, on top of that, we have another one, which is kind of funny, but we set a goal to set a goal. Um, so yeah. our family goal is to be able to have each, each of us set one goal a month so that we're, you know, continually progressing towards our, an individual goal of our own. Um, so it kind of, it, we need that to be a family goal so that we can step in and help Coach. each other and support each other. Be and, accountable. Okay. Mm -hmm. And one of my family goals, I love this, but I want to go feed the ducks in the fall and learn about the species of ducks that we're feeding. Who cares about the species I of care. ducks? I care. I care. I think it's so fun. And you go take bread and little ducks are going around. And there's this place down in Orem where there's little turtles. and There's fun. there's a little enjoyment there what? with the kids. It's amazing. With the kids. But oh we'll my go, goodness. We'll go along. With, I love it. We'll go I along love with it. I love little ducks. And, I, and if I don't put it on my list of goals, then it's one of those things that all of a sudden it's August, September, October, November, all of a sudden the snow falls. And, and then there the goes the ducks. species of a duck? <laughs> it's the duck with feathers in the bill. No, come on. <laughs> come on, duck lovers. <laughs> Help me out. Uh, awesome. Okay. Um, so we've actually made this list available in a printable if you go to our website, um, childrenandyouthgoals.com. Um, or if you sign up for our emails or there's, yeah, we have our printable. I'm not sure how to figure out how to put it down in a link below. If we can do it, we'll do it. It'll be there, maybe. Okay, so now that we've shared some examples of what um, family goals look like, we just want to kind of break down 
the time frame of how those goals happen. So first there's yearly goals, monthly goals, weekly goals, and daily goals that you can choose from, right? So yearly goals, we kind of just went yeah, for that. yearly goals. And don't feel like the new year has to be the start no. oh, yeah, of no. your goals. And I've, don't feel overwhelmed. I've never liked that because yeah. it's something you always start and end. Yeah. Um, but a yearly goal can start at any time. And a monthly goal can, doesn't have to start at the first of the month. It can start at any yep. time too. Yeah. Um, I have the perfectionist mentality that it has to, oh, it's January the month. 1st. It has to start on, you know. But it's January 3rd. Oh, I give up. It's been so nice to just kick that out and just say, you know what? I'm starting a monthly goal today and it's going to go for four weeks or five weeks. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah it's, it's been great. really nice that way. It's great. So yearly goals, how do they start? Uh, the yearly way? goals start. Um, so if you watched our video last week, we talked about Discover. Uh, what was the name of that video? Teach Kids. A Pattern for Growth. Yeah, teach kids how to set goals, set and get goals. Um, but it's discover. So it's take a piece of paper, however big you want it, and just start start writing down ideas, things you want to do, especially as a family. Get down as a family and start writing. What do we want to do this year as a family? Let's just start writing it all down. Get a, as big of a list as you want. Mm -hmm. And then from there, just narrow just it down. Circle circle the ones or write rewrite the ones in order of, of what you want to. Your favorite. Um, the most realistic ones. Yeah, to the achieve. most realistic, and, and get twelve. You know, get one for each month or however many you you feel like you can do. If that's too much, bring it back and only select uh, three or four for now, and then just pick the one you want and yeah, awesome. and roll with it. So then, from those yearly goals, those bigger goals, um, what you can do is each month. Um, a good idea is a couple days before the month begins. If you do, if you choose to start it on that beginning date, and it's easy for me to remember it that way. You don't have to do it that way, but for me, it's easier to remember. Like, okay, it's coming to the end of this month, so what do we want to do as a family this next coming month? And I'm usually, as a parent, trying to scan through my schedule to see what's on the schedule for the kids and everything. Anyway, um, so I try to sit there and take maybe some of these yearly goals and say, hey, kids, which one of these could we? achieve this this month flying a kite isn't going to be great in december in utah when there's snow so and, obviously that would be and the nice later. thing about family goals is they're not necessarily you something like, you're working on every day it's yeah. like pick something you want yeah, to do together activity, as a family a and thing. then it's one mm -hmm. day a month and you're done right yeah. it's not a super stress it's just kind of low-key yeah exactly fit it in and so if we see on our list that there's like rollerblading in the canyon then we'd be like okay hey oh this weekend looks pretty free let's put that on there tentatively hey guys how about we do this and as the weeks get closer to that date we can say yep that's official we're gonna do it on saturday if we get everything done that we need to this week let's let's go have some fun and like we said before it's more of a reward and an incentive for our kids and we're able to do family goals and they get their individual goals done because they're working hard to try and get that family goal so it's pretty awesome um, weekly goals, don't feel stressed and overwhelmed by feeling like you have to do something every year, every month, every week, every day. That's not what this is all about. It should be fun and enjoyable. And for us, we don't do weekly goals with our family every week. Uh, come follow me was our yeah, weekly yeah, goal. Yeah, and saying prayers. So there are a couple where we're like, um, yes, these are more daily, you know, or weekly mm -hmm. or whatever. Um, but the, the other side of things like where it's, um, maybe like invite a family over for dinner. We're not going to do that every single week. Um, so maybe we'll be like, maybe oh, a little stressful, but if some, some goals fit in well, like spiritual goals, like we talked about, or a yeah. physical goal, if it's like, Hey, we want to go on a family walk or bike ride or something. Mm -hmm. If you're in a place to do that and it's easy to fit that in every week, then yeah, by all means, just say, Hey, we're going to do a family bike ride every day, just the summer or whatever. Yeah. Something that we found that's helpful with our kids is to review the week every we do it Sunday evenings or Sunday at dinner time or somewhere around there and we say okay here's what's on our schedule for Monday everybody and we go through the every every hour like we're like telling everybody what's going on through the days so here's Tuesday here's Wednesday here's Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday so that they're like okay so on Wednesday I have this and on Friday I have that it has helped immensely to lessen the anxiety anxiety with stress kids where um, sometimes if they don't know the schedule, if they're just not aware and all of a sudden it's Wednesday and you're like, oh, school's out, hurry, get on your shoes, you gotta get to piano lessons. They're like, wait, I didn't know I had it. And they might've had, it's like with us, I wouldn't want to have that overwhelming feeling if, feeling if I had something else that I thought I could do that day. So yeah. um, it helps to alleviate that the unnecessary stress and it helps to create a plan. So first you discover what you wanna do and then you plan it out and then you act on it and then you can reflect and say, okay, what went well and what didn't. So um, creating a plan for the week has really helped us. But sometimes we'll throw in one of our goals in the week and we'll say, hey, this Saturday, we're not doing anything. Let's, let's make sure we fit in one of our family goals. But it doesn't always happen every week. Usually every month we have something for a family goal, but not necessarily every week. So now, um, oh, did you want to add something? Uh, no, no, oh, I think that's great. Okay, so um, for daily family goals, this is kind of fun. 
um, we we created this game. And it's daily, but it's not like high pressure they're daily. They're small family goals. They're, they're little things um, that can help your kids to be intentional with something for the day. Help them to grow in some way, learn something, serve someone each These and every day. have been, I mean, we've it's only tried fun. it for a couple of weeks, but it's been That's amazing awesome. to watch the kids think and kind of overcome little, just teeny tiny fears. And I think every single time they do something like this, the the big anxiety and the big things that they they look at every year, every day, it's, just start to go away, yeah. and it, things don't start. They don't matter as much anymore. Exactly. It's, it's kind of cool to watch. So we created this bingo game, right? It has instructions with it, and we laminated it. But we have a printable. Um, you can create something similar. Make it's up your own. It's not traditional game. bingo. So to yeah, speak. it's not at all. You don't um, sit down and just get it all done at one mm -hmm. time. It's over time. But you could create something like this on your own. Make up your own game. Or you can go to our Etsy store. On It's our Children and Youth Goals Etsy store to, to get this. But what we do is we just take one of these cards for our whole family. And we have it on our fridge. And what we do is the night before, we have these little... Um, we cut out the... the Printable comes with these little circles that you can cut out. And it has them for each and every here. I Let's get it close them. so you can kind of see what this is doing. <laughs> yeah. So we have these different kinds of circles that that we can draw from in a little bag. One for each of the, the four categories. For every single one, right? yeah. Spiritual, intellectual, social and physical and each night we'll go up and we'll just say okay draw one so let's try so he he'll draw a, a circle and i would draw one too okay so what did you get physical so he would have to so for the next day so i pick something for the next day or the next couple days however often you want to to try and do this i have to try and pick a physical goal uh okay tomorrow i'm going to do 20 push-ups yeah and then let's say i got a social goal um, so tomorrow I'd say, okay, so tomorrow what can I do for a social goal? I'm going to call a friend that I haven't talked to in a really long time and just see how she's doing. Um, we've done this and the kids have loved it. So Lacey drew, the other day she drew a physical circle. And so the next day, um, as we're ready to drive her to the school, uh, she said, nope. She comes running down in her exercise clothes and she said, nope, I'm going to run to the school and run back because that's my physical goal for the day. I'm like, that's awesome. So once she was able to accomplish it, she was able to cross off a... Oh, she still needs to cross that one off. Cross it off. She didn't cross off physical. But um, she can cross off a physical goal for that one. Trayson, um, he drew an intellectual goal. And so he decided... He's like, what can I do? He learned the alphabet in, in sign, sign language, language in one day. So um, he ended up... He didn't write his name. He just put an X there, but that's fine. So it's been a lot of fun. And once we get a blackout... We've decided as a family, um, I don't know if we decided on bowling or a movie. Uh, yeah, some fun activity gonna, together as a family at yeah. the yeah at the end of the week or the end of whenever you get when your we blackout. When we finish our blackout, then we're going to go do something fun as a family. It's been fun. Yeah. I've, I've really enjoyed it. Yeah, it's, it's been really good. And it's been fun to be able to see the kids and even Peyton. Our four-year-old. <laughs> He, he was what like, hey, I want to check it off. We're like, well, you have to do a goal. He's like, I did. I, I saved my, my prayers. prayers. <laughs> so he, he did this little, this little spiritual one down there, and he was so proud of himself for taking the time to say his own prayer, and, and he got to cross off his own little space. So make it fun. Make it creative. Have fun with it. Don't stress over it. But um, just like Come Follow Me, just like what the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is trying to build into our families and into our lives, this isn't... Um, a check it off your list type of thing. This is a bring it into your life and help it to become just a habit and become an enjoyable and way of it. living. Yeah. Um, but just it strengthened our home and our family and it's been a lot of fun to see the different goals in different areas and what the kids have come up with. So yeah, awesome. I think that's have fun it. finding family goals, work together and just keep it low key. Don't stress about it. Um, but have fun together because it makes a big difference when you're all doing something for sure. Um, yeah, you're all doing something together for a purpose. Yeah, we'd love to hear your ideas, your thoughts, your comments in the comments below. Let us know what your family's doing. Let us know what works for you. Let us know if you have any questions, and we will see you next time. Okay, awesome. Thank you.